Whenever I think about everything Ventorio did good, I always get reminded of the execution team and the awesome antagonists and fights that spawned from this group. While I've sung the Grateful Dead Ark's praises before, what kind of YouTuber would I be without looking at one of the most memorable fights for me, Giorno and Mista vs White Album? Technically this entire encounter starts before this arc in the previous chapter, but I'm including it anyway as it has some really awesome build up. Right off the bat, we can hear the villain, Gyatso, talking about how he ended up hunting down the protagonists, and it's a good reminder of how terrifying his team is. Sure, most of their members are dead, but they have some seriously impressive intel to manage to piece together the team's objective and hunt them down in the first place. If you thought the execution team were out for the count, you thought wrong. In case his words don't convince you, then, you know, there's also the fact that Mr. has gone to damn finger has fallen off. Immediately, the cast are at the sidelines of barely any introduction, and it's what Ventorio does best, giving you absolutely kick-ass action. I previously praised the Grateful Dead arc for its moving setting being directly involved in the fight, and this arc improves on that tenfold. This is all the intensity you'd expect from a car chase, and White Album's abilities cleverly play into giving him an advantage. From freezing the brakes and the bullet holes dropping the temperature, the crew are trapped in the tight confines of their vehicle, doomed to freeze to death. We all know of the perils of hypothermia, and it's genuinely terrifying to see the cast succumb to this as their movements become more and more restricted. Giorno allows for so many different approaches to winning a fight that we essentially get a mini biology lesson when we see him, and as ridiculous as it is, it just about works. Seeing Gyatso chasing after the car is super cool, and his stand is just as versatile as Giorno's, which is part of the reason why this fight is as memorable as it is for me, as it's filmed with twists and turns throughout. I got to respect Araki's creativity, as while on the surface White Album might not seem that interesting, it has some clever uses, especially when it comes to Gyatso adapting to his environment, such as the aforementioned bullet holes resulting in the massive drop in temperature. A decent chunk of the fight is essentially solely Mista and Gyatso, with Giorno helping at the sidelines. Gold Experience works quite well with Sex Pistols, and it's interesting to see the kind of strategies the two come up with. Giorno's resolve is outstanding when he finds a workaround for White Album Gently Weeps, and it really embodies his entire character when we see how far he's willing to go, in contrast to Mista's desperation as he seemingly runs out of options against his foe. When Mista ends up sharing his teammate's resolve, it's a great turnaround for his character, and I really appreciate seeing how much influence Giorno has on his team. At the end of the day, Mista still lost, but barely. I really like seeing him develop throughout the fight to get Gyatso as injured as he was, and seeing Giorno at the end is the icing on the cake with one of the most satisfying, brutal beatdowns of the part. It was extremely hard fought, with Gyatso's resolve being just as impressive as any other character, but the bastard finally died. Overall, I love this fight because of the unique stand abilities that push Araki's creativity to the limit, and the awesome giorno mista combo. These execution team fights are the gifts that keep on giving. Thanks for watching folks, as always, if you've got any ideas for a video you'd like me to do, whether it's Jojo or something completely unrelated, please let me know. If you've got any part 6 fights you like, let me know about those specifically, because I'd like to cover that part. And yeah, I'll see you later.